Welcome back, everyone. We are today discussing our monthly market review, what the Arizona real estate market did throughout February and what we expected to do going into March. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, everyone. I'm Katie Evans, owner and lead agent of the Living 48 real estate team here in Arizona. Super glad to be back with you again today. So boy, do we have some fun stuff to talk about today. Ah, guys, it is a rainy day when I'm filming this today, and it might be a rainy year in real estate here. <laughs> Actually, we have been told by our gurus, our real estate gurus out there, that we are to expect a little bit more of the same. What we experienced last year, that's what we're going to experience a little bit more this year. So that is kind of what I want to prep you guys for. We had a bit of a slow start, um, normal seasonality, to be honest with you, uh, but a slow seasonality starting out in January. And so the numbers that we look at in January, eh, it's hard to really determine anything because we just came off the holidays. It's a new year. Everybody's kind of trying to figure out what's going on. But here are what we're looking at right now. So as per the huge, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and share our um, our factoids. Let's have a look at what's going on in the factoids. So we're looking at the numbers from February. I feel like this is always just a little bit misleading because we're looking at the numbers from February moving into March. So that's why it's titled February, but I put March down in the bottom right just so that you don't get too terribly confused about what we're talking about. Our supply, so just a reminder, supply is measured 30 days at a time. Inventory is measured 12 months at a time. Sometimes these line up, sometimes they don't. So right now, our supply has again decreased from 3.7 months worth of supply down to three months worth of supply. Our inventory went up 74 days to 81 days. And our active days on market went down just a couple days, not anything spectacular, but our closed days on market stayed right about the same. So 69 days is about what you can expect uh, from list to close. Now, let's jump over to the dollar side. Let's talk about the money. Our active price per square foot right now went up again. We are at $377.58 per, squ uh, per square foot our sold price per square foot. So this is actually what's selling, okay? Uh, right now we're sitting at $294.27 a square foot. Our average sale price in the last 30 days is $578,677. And our median sold over the last 30 days is $440,000 houses. Now, why are those numbers important? And I am totally fine if you want to use the last 30 days or if you want to go down even to our average and, and median for the last 12 months. Why are those numbers important? This is the price of houses right now in Arizona. If you're planning on buying a house here, these are the prices you're going to be looking at. Um, there are a few below, there are a few above, obviously, but this is going to be your average and your median prices. So as you are preparing to purchase a house, you need to be preparing for those kind of um, sticker pegs on them, price stickers on them, all right? So that's part of the discussion. Part of the discussion is about affordability. Now, I want to talk about appreciation for just a hot second. If you look at those numbers at the bottom of our factoids, you'll see that both numbers are still in the red. However, let me see if I can just flip back. No, it's not going to let me do that. Um, these numbers are actually getting smaller and smaller and smaller every single month. So while they're still in the red, you're recovering quite nicely from a very, very high high. Uh, and so these numbers are going to be looking in positive here very shortly. So just want to point out that, you know, from the highest that we were at, you're now just down 0.3%. From the highest that we were at, you're now just down to 7.5% appreciation, which I'm going to be honest, is a real healthy rate of appreciation. So I'm not mad at either one of those numbers. And I just want to paint the picture for you, even though they're in the red, they're healthy numbers. And we are looking really, really solid. So 
what is all this supposed to say to you? This is supposed to say to you, we are in a really balanced, really healthy, really strong Arizona real estate market. All right. So that is that is what I want you to know. I want you to know that that's what's happening here in Arizona. We're solid. We're strong. We're balanced. Is it going to stay that way? That is an interesting conversation to talk about. So let's really quickly talk about affordability here. There are two factors in affordability that I just want to briefly touch on. Obviously, that is going to be the price. We just talked about what our average and our median sold prices are. And the other factor is going to be the interest rates. So since 2020, our prices have gone up. Since 2020, our rates have gone up. Um, even as our rates have come down, and they have come down, they've been down, they've gone up, da, 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 da. but even as they have come down, the challenge that we're running into as far as affordability goes is the supply and demand equation. Okay, we have very, very limited supply here in Arizona. We are not selling what we normally sell. Uh, in fact, if we look at some of the additional statistics off my little sheet here, um, right now, let's see, closed sales in February, 5,732. Now, while that is up, a little bit, it's still the third lowest February over the last 10 years, okay? It's not what we are normally used to. And the new builds aren't getting us there and nothing's getting us there. So we are not having, we don't have the inventory. People aren't selling their houses. So supply and demand, even if the rates go down, prices are gonna continue to go up because of the supply and demand equation, which means the increasing prices, while they're not skyrocketing, they are still increasing, it's going to counteract that overall effect of reduced rates. So here's what that boils down to for you. If you have been waiting for the rates to drop, if you have been waiting for the prices to drop, nothing is going to make a substantial enough difference in your ability to purchase something in Arizona that would make me as a real estate expert tell you, yeah, you should wait. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly the opposite. If the prices continue to go up, whether or not the interest rates come down or not is irrelevant. When we And we saw this just happen a couple months ago when the interest rates came down just a little bit. We saw a quick little blip in our market where we saw a lot of people rushing to go buy houses. All right, so what we expect to happen is when those interest rates start to fall, you're gonna have more competition to the already extremely limited inventory that we have. So if you can find the house that you are interested in at a price that you can reasonably afford, pull the trigger. You can always refinance it once the interest rates come down but you're going to have more competition as the market heats up. That is my advice to you, all right? So I know that that's probably not the advice that everybody wanted to hear, but as your boss mom, big sister, favorite aunt, favorite realtor, that is the advice I'm going to give you right now. You're going to expect more of the same. You guys, this is just the way it's gonna be for the next year. So, um, uh, what I want to show, I, I wish I could show you my whole chart here, but I don't have it for to show you. But we have seen all the inventory go up slightly. But as we saw that, we also saw the number of sales go up slightly in February, which actually brought our months of supply down. So yes, a few more houses came to market, but more houses sold. In fact, more houses than came on sold. So our inventory numbers continue to drop. Guys, that is what's going to be the story for the next little while. And once interest rates start to come down and improve even more, that's going to become a, a worse and a harder store, story. So if you have been sitting on the fence, stop sitting on the fence. If you are looking to sell your house, now is the time to get it listed as we get ready to come into our hot spring summer market. Um, don't wait, nothing great is gonna happen towards the end of the year. Uh, in fact, we're gonna get shuffled into the election cycle. And so the sooner that you pull the trigger this year, the better on both the buyer side 
and on the listing side. Anyway, that is my monthly market review for you. Of course, everything is in Arizona real estate or real estate anywhere is very micro focused. So it's very neighborhood specific, city specific, um, even development specific sometimes. So we want to make sure that we're talking real numbers. So if you have any questions about your property's value or a home that you're looking to purchase right now, if you want to have a conversation about resales versus new builds, let's have that conversation. Please reach out to me. You can reach me directly at 480-415-1341. I'm here to be your residential real estate resource. Thanks for watching and we will catch you on our next video.